Yo, welcome back. This is Stu42 with another Minecraft episode. Uh, last time we set this monstrosity up here and it didn't quite work out as planned. As per usual with this pack, we need extra stuff, uh, namely these three different acids to be piped into here. So the way we get those acids. Now, I've done a tiny bit of... Oh, there he is. <laughs> All right, I've done a tiny bit of research and basically we need this thing called a lab oven and the lab oven is what's going to give us... Um, well, the acid stuff that we need. So I'm going to put the oven down there, potentially. Cool. Uh, so what happens with the la uh, lab oven? We need water, a water source. We need to put these sulfur bearing compounds, sodium chloride compounds, uh, or fluorite compounds. Uh, that makes oh, syngas. Cool. All right. Well, we don't want that one, but we do want hydrofluoric acid, uh, sulfuric acid, and hydrochloric acid. So we can get uh, sulfur, sodium, and throw out other things we're going to need for that. Um, also, to make hydrofluoric, we're going to need to start with sulfuric acid in the first place. So this might actually be a little bit more complicated. So the first thing we need is sulfuric acid, and then we need to pipe that into... All right, so we might need to make a couple more of these. So what I might do is I might set this up a little bit differently. We'll get a couple more of these. Uh, one will be to make the... Yeah, what are we going to do? We're going to have one to make each thing, I think, is probably going to be the way to do it. So if we have these two, I'm just trying to line it up with this thing here. So if we have one here and one here, we pipe the stuff out into here. And then we can also have water being piped in from somewhere. And another one over here, making the sulfuric acid, piping sulfuric acid to these two, as well as up and out and into here. Yeah, that'll do. All right. The other awkward bit of these things that we're going to need is uh, to be able to transport the fluids. Now, the one we really want is the end of fluid conduit. Now, this is multiple fluids on the same pipe. It's pretty much what we're after. The only problem is it's going to need fused quartz and vibrant alloy. We can get away with the pressurized fluid conduit and vibrant alloy. So pressurized conduit. Yep. Fluid conduit. All right, quite clear glass. So we do have quite clear glass and conduit binder is pretty easy to make. So we can make a bunch of that, uh, which means we can make the fluid conduit into pressurized and we can make the pressurized into the end of fluid conduit if we can make vibrant alloy. Vibrant alloy, normally made in the alloy smelter, not up to that yet, but we do have a casting basin. So um, we can actually make molten alloy by alloying with ender pearls and molten energetic alloy. Molten energetic alloy, you can alloy with glow gas, gold, and redstone. So that's actually a really easy way to do it. So what I might do is we will grab uh, four redstone, four glowstone, and gold. Now, when we do this, can we macerate the gold? Yes, we can. Excellent. So let's just take that out, take that out. Let's get ourselves some extra gold. So what I'm planning on doing is we'll make this ender conduit um, by using this here. Let's just get rid of that. So we're going to want four glowstone, four redstone, and four uh, four crushed gold is cool and then we're also going to need some ender pearls so probably four ender pearls as well i think if my math is correct we should be able to do this and get ourselves some vibrant alloy pretty easily wow those are taking a while okay so let's throw the four crushed gold in there as well so this is going to smelt up what we're also going to need to do is make the conduit binder so hopefully that'll get done over there and we need uh, just grab a stack of gravel and a stack of sand and some clay. We do have a bit of clay left. Now we need this, just like that. Cool. Let's just put some extra in for good measure and just gravel around. 32 of that. Excellent. Uh, throw the sand gravel everything back in there cool smelt that Got charcoal lumps in there all right we'll let that go 
hopefully over here this is now melted a bit Wow, those are still taking a really long time. Got the gold done. Nearly there. I kind of don't want to cut the video here because that's going to... Well, we could make the... I'll make those off camera as well. I really wanted to make this into, into conduit. Or at least make sure we can make the vibrant alloy correctly. So let's just run back and see how this is going. Awesome, let's throw some more charcoal in there. Might as well do that with the rest of the gold. Cool, uh, and then what are we going to do? Lab oven. Lab oven, lab oven, lab oven. Very, very easy. Furnace, glass, and some more iron. Now, I do have some nether bricks here. Nether bricks are very handy for the ovens, uh, iron, iron, glass, and I did have two of those already, cool, two more of those, and we wanted one to be there, and one to be there, and this can be our sulfuric acid one, now, water source, water source, water source, do we have the reservoir, we do have the reservoir, Fused quartz we cannot make, and oh, ring of water breathing, who knows how we get that. So we're not going to make a reservoir very easily. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to have to think about how we do the water for a little bit. How's this going? Hey, four ringgits of molten energetic alloy, awesome. So now if we throw two of those in, I actually have a feeling it's four. Hopefully this will be pretty quick. All right, that's going to take a while. All right, I am going to cut this here. I'll be back in just a minute, but we've got energetic. We know that when we alloy it with enderpearls, we're going to get vibrant alloy, and I'm just going to be able to spit that out into ingots there. Uh, we're going to need the rest of this binder, and we can get our way through to having some ender conduit. That'll solve our transport problem into here, and then just water. So I'll be back in just a moment once I've figured out how to do the water, and once this other stuff is ready to be done. See you in a bit. Okie dokie, I have figured a few things out, uh, namely I miscalculated completely with the conduit, there is no way that we can get into conduit, we have to just make do with this fluid conduit. Uh, the other thing is the water issue, now I think I have a solution for that, if we put a water bucket in there, some iron across the top, grab ourselves some logs, and make ourselves another kitchen sink, I think think I think we can put the sink there we should probably move the kitchen down actually put that there right click there change that to extract always active and we have water <laughs> excellent so uh, this is a nice single block unlimited water supply um, which is I'm not sure if it's meant to be that easy uh, generally unlimited water supplies are pretty hard like the reservoir uh, recipe is pretty nasty now, um, but that is a pretty good way of getting us some water. So that's the water situation so sorted. We can put those two there. We can then go and set this to extract always. Throw this one on insert. This one on insert. We're going to want to put that like that. We're also going to want to make sure that one is just on insert. This one here can be extract. That one can be extract. Now, only one thing will be able to be in the pipe at a time, and we do run the risk of making too much stuff. Um, it, yeah, it's not going to be a fun one, unfortunately, uh, to get this working. Now, also, we want sulfuric acid to go all the way through, so we'll put that there as well. And hopefully... Yeah, that's not going to work either because we can end up with stuff going back around and in. Uh, although it probably won't accept it, to be honest. You know what? I'm going to just break that for now and see how we go. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to need to make some of... Uh, where did I put all the powder for that? Down here? Yes. So, uh, we want some power in here. Uh, let's just throw it all in there uh, and we're going to need to want 
some water and sulfur bearing compound. So sulfur bearing compound, pretty easy to make. We only need either sulfur or lapis. Uh, sulfur, I haven't actually found any sulfur yet. So we're probably gonna have to use some lapis, unfortunately. Unless, unless sulfur dust can come from something else. Can centrifuge sulfides. So we have already got, yeah, we have already got that. So what I might do, oh, interesting, nether quartz oil does it as well as sulfur. Uh, extract our gunpowder. So you can get sulfur out of gunpowder. That's a pretty expensive way of doing it though. Uh, I would say probably the easiest way, oh, look at that, you can get it straight from netherrack. If only we can make a sagma. We'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, transmutation, we're not up to yet. Haven't got one of those. Um, centrifuge. Copper. Around some bronze. Quite clear glass. Yeah, so we could make the centrifuge. We are going to need to um, power that with RF, though. Uh, for now, in the interest of keeping this relatively quick, let's just grab some lapis, because we do have a ton of lapis. Well, not a ton, but enough. So, sulfur bearing compound. Let's go and throw that in and see what happens. And see where this sulfur ends up. Right, so it has drained into a tiny bit into there, a tiny bit into there. Oops, and did we get any in here? No, no we didn't. Ah, it's probably because it respects gravity. So we may need to raise these up a little bit off the ground in order to get this to work. Wow, and it just completely uses up the flask as well. Okay, so what I might have to do is we'll have to sort this out with gravity. I'm going to need to pump this up. Ah, unfortunately, we've used the energy. All right, so yeah, I might have to say goodbye to that energy, unfortunately, um, and just get this. Actually, no, no, we're fine. We're fine. You know why? Because I took that one out. Let's make some more and see what happens. Let's make some more. Uh, we're going to need uh, some of that. Let's get two of these. What happens if we throw them in this time? Now I'm wondering if this will pump up or not. Yes, it does. All right, so we don't need to worry about the gravity thing. We do end up with a no, not quite. Well, it does eventually disappear from the thing, but it doesn't quite get up there. So yeah, we are going to have to deal with some gravity issues at some point. And wow, you can see that one, 835 versus 665. So yeah, it is very much um, feeding that one first, this one second, and not even getting to that one because it's uphill. All right, I'm going to fix this and see what we're going to do. Actually, before we do that, before we do that, let's just make sure that these ones work first as well. So what are we going to need for this one? We are going to need to make hydrochloric acid. So sodium chloride compound, easy, salt, and some more chemical flasks. We have oodles of salt over here. Oh. Here we go. Let's just make more of that. Yeah. Gonna need to make some more glass at some point. Uh, so let's go for two of those. Now, what is that going to need? Now, this is going to need uh, probably some more sulfuric acid. And some power. <laughs> All right. We're missing the power part of this equation. All right. Cool. So... Awesome. So we do get some hydrochloric acid in there. This here, unfortunately, is not going to suck it up at all. So we are going to need to worry about gravity, which means we're going to need to break these, move these up a bit. Uh, also move this one to be even higher so that it drains into everything. All right. I'll be back in just a moment. Once I've sorted these out, I'm going to need to really think about how I um, 
how I raise these up. Uh, probably just, yeah, probably just in place, but above these so that everything works. Might need to make some more of these fluid conduits as well. I mean, later on, once we get through this, we'll be able to use the ender conduit and rearrange this. But for now, we just need to get it working. So I'll be back in just a moment. I'll break all these and get it further up and we'll see how we go from there. See you again in a bit. Okay, I've gone for just putting them on the same level up here. We've got the water up there now, so we are doing this. One of the neat things I found is that the power actually gets kept uh, between breaking them and remaking them. You lose the liquids, unfortunately, but you do keep the power. So if we put the sulfur bearing in there now, we should, we should, even if we put this there. And why is that not connecting? All right, so we have a bunch of sulfuric and a bunch of sulfuric in there, but I'm not sure why that isn't connecting to that. What about over here? Yeah, so it fits there, unfortunately. So let's just try this again. Oops, no, nope, you want there. Let's grab another two of these. Throw them in, sulfur bearing. Does it flow down? Yes. Oh look, we actually have some sulfuric acid in there now. Awesome, I'm gonna take that phosphate out just so that we don't accidentally start processing. And that is a ton in there with 456 in there and still quite a lot more in there. So again, very unbalanced, but this is all that we're gonna need for now anyway. Now we just gotta wait for the last bit to drain out of the pipe. Cool. Now, this one here, this is what we're going to want. Because this is downhill, we don't run any risk of it going back up into there. So we should be able to just leave the pipes as they are. Sodium chloride compounds should now make us our... Uh, which one is that going to be? Which one is that going to be? Hydrochloric acid. Hooray. So we now get hydrochloric acid. Now, the last one is hydrofluoric acid. Now, hydrofluoric acid is a little bit more interesting to make because we are going to need to hydrochloric sulfuric hydrofluoric acid now this needs this fluorite bearing compound now fluorite bearing compound only comes from fluorite shards with the chemical flask but in the mineral sizer we can actually get fluorite bearing compound straight away by putting granite in there so you can't get fluorite i mean the other way of doing it is yeah, so you only get fluorite shards from the mineral analyzer when you've already got hydrofluoric acid. So what you need to do is just get the bearing compound itself uh, from some plain granite. Now I do think I have some granite. Yes, I do. And I should be able to just break that, throw the granite into there. We need to get some power into it. Look at that, throw in compound. So this is our first fluorite bearing compound, which means we can now, well, we want to wait until all that disappears out of the pipes. So the sulfuric acid there, I don't know what is sitting in the pipes at the moment. Maybe it's hydrochloric. Anyway, we should be able to, it might just be a display bug. I'm hoping it's just a display bug. Let's throw that one there. Now, not enough sulfuric acid. So this is one of the things I was worried about. We are gonna need another sulfuric acid. Man, we're gonna use up lapis really quickly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that that is just set to disabled. We're gonna set you know what, I'm gonna bust that tube. And this just means we can get all of the sulfuric acid into that one for now. Again, this is gonna be a pretty temporary setup just because of how we're doing this until we get going. All right, hydrofluoric acid, fantastic. Uh, no. <laughs> Damn it, no. 
not quite enough. All right, uh, but we do have hydrofluoric, hydrochloric, and sulfuric acid. We've got a test tube. We've got some power. We should now be able to put something in there and have it work. So what I'm going to do is we're going to use, uh, where are they? The halides. Now, the reason I'm using the halides is I'm pretty sure these are the ones that give you the fluoric crystals, which is what we're going to need. So if we throw those into there, look at that. Bubble, bubble, bubble. And we should end up with so we had this going to there, Gris, grassite shard. Cool, with lithium in it. And the test tube's gonna keep using. That's gonna go there. So we're gonna get carnalite, bolite. Uh, so where does the fluorite come from? Yeah, halide mineral. So there is a chance of getting it from her. Oh, there we go, we've got a couple of fluorites now. Awesome, so now that that's happening, we need to figure out how to use this particular one. Now we're gonna need some power into that. Where is the recipes thing? I think we're going to need a test tube and we're going to need ah, syngas and hydrofluoric acid. Excellent. So I'm going to need to make yet more of these, uh, more of these pipes, get some more hydrofluoric acid into there uh, and then make some syngas, which is another one of these things. So as you noticed, we had in the recipes, there was this other one, syngas, which is just water and syngas. So I'm going to make another oh, carbon compound, cracked coal. Yeah, it just comes from coal. Awesome. So what I'm going to do is I will cut that. I'm going to make another one of these things for syngas, make a ton more of these pipes. Hopefully everything will just hook up uh, and then, yeah, we should be good to come back. So I'll, I'll make sure our fluid levels are all topped up before we, um, before we go any further. And I'll come back in just a second and hopefully we'll get that last step happening and see what we get out the other end. So see you once again in just a bit. Alrighty, so I think we're hopefully back for the last time. I've realized I probably don't need this other lab oven here, um, given that we're draining this every time. So we've got a bit of sulfuric acid in there now. Um, we have this other, I had to put another sink. I tried to hook it up from over there, but I ran into sort of piping complications. So for now we've got water in here. Uh, we've got ourselves some power. Uh, we're going to need to put our carbon compound in there and this will make our syngas uh, and that is already set to, yep, export, go all the way down um, and into here. So that's going to give ourselves, hey, look at that. We're getting some syngas already. Fantastic. Might need, uh, just throw the whole lot in there. Some more of that cool uh, and the other thing is hydrofluoric acid now once the syngas is done um, i'll throw another pipe across here and we should be able to there we go that's done now if i throw a pipe there that is not connecting i don't know why if all else fails Part of this, I think, is because I don't have the right tools for this yet. Um, yeah, so what would happen is I probably set that to disabled. That there, I might just leave that but in and out for now. Uh, so this will go across and down into there with the hydrofluoric acid. Now, hydrofluoric acid is the one that needs, uh, not that one, it's not sodium. It is our special fluorite bearing one, uh, which we have a bunch of here. So we can throw that in. And that should put some in here, hydrofluoric, yes, but hopefully also a little bit in there as well. Oh, look, we're even processing straight away. Cool, so we're building up each of these things and as they get full, I'm guessing we get a bit of dust out the side. Awesome, so let's just throw a whole pile of power in there. So we get all light. Now, we don't actually want to process the fluorite shards. We want to keep hold of them. Cool. So we are going to need a bit more hydrofluoric acid. We're going to need to find some sulfur at some point. We're running out of sulfuric acid big time. I need to find a different source for that because we just can't keep using lapis. We can't keep using lapis for that. So I'm going to need to find some sulfur from somewhere. Uh, sulfur... Yeah, so void ore miner, whatever that is, um, or yeah, there's only the railcraft. Maybe there is only lapis. Oh no, there's this one. We can get tiny piles from 
Right, okay, so this is where we need to get the centrifuge. So um, we've made centrifuges before, they're not that hard. What I might do between this episode and the next one is we'll make ourselves a centrifuge, which is the forestry one. Pretty easy to make, runs off RF, yeah, nice and easy, and we can get a survivalist generator, and I can at least start centrifuging some of the sulfide minerals that we got out of here, which I think, isn't it sulfate? Sulfide, those 19s, so we've got tons of them. All right, so we should be able to get some sulfides from there to get sulfuric acid again. And hopefully, once the system starts feeding itself, we'll be able to get um, more and more of the stuff that we want out the end. Nothing yet, and nothing out there yet. But I think you can see where this is sort of heading. Once we get a bunch of these and these fill up, we'll start getting the dusts, and then we're home free. All right, so I think that's where I'm going to leave this episode uh, for today. Um, like I said, I will get a bunch of stuff done between now and the next episode, just refining this and cleaning it up a bit. Um, also starting to feed all those minerals back in, like I said. Um, until uh, next time, however, that is us uh, for today. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time.